doing today? My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for taking a couple minutes and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make smoked Italian sausage and peppers. Now, this is a recipe I recommend if you're brand new to smoking. Maybe you got your first little electric smoker or propane smoker, and you're kind of uh, intimidated by some of the harder recipes out there. You just want to get your feet wet and try something easy. This is the recipe for you because basically all you're going to do is slice up some peppers and onions, season them, and stick the peppers and the onions into the smoker and just wait till they come up to temperature. I mean, it's really pretty foolproof. Now, I have some uh, peppers here, uh, three green, a red, and an orange. I got an onion. I got some Italian seasoning because uh, these are Italian sausages. We got basil, oregano. I'm going to put a little garlic, salt, and pepper. And then I got uh, a whole bunch of different varieties of Italian sausage. Uh, the main batch here, I have six pork Italian sausage. I got two hot Italian sausages on the end. And when I was at the butcher this morning, he kind of asked me as he was getting this uh, prepared, have you ever tried our chicken Italian sausage? And I said, no, I never tried it. He said, uh, would you like to try some? I said, uh, I'm not really interested. I don't think it's going to be that good. He goes, you know what? I thought the same thing. He ended up giving me three for uh, no charge just so I could try them out because he says, I bet you you're going to like them. So these three on the end here that have a little bit different color, they're the chicken Italian sausage. So I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Stick around. Let's get cooking. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to slice your peppers. I had a couple green peppers, a red pepper, an orange pepper, and then I took one onion and sliced that thin as well. Put it in some kind of tray. I love these uh, disposable trays because you can throw them away when you're done. So, I'm going to add one teaspoon of oregano. Now, if you don't have these individual spices, feel free to just use some Italian seasonings. One teaspoon of basil. And also bear in mind you can always add more seasonings down the line if you think it needs it. I got a couple teaspoons of garlic. I'm just using the minced garlic. I'm going to throw that in there. And I got some olive oil. We're just going to lightly sprinkle some olive oil on top. Not too much, just like so. Put a little bit of salt and a little bit of ground black pepper. So what we're going to do now, I got some uh, gloves on, but you could use a spoon as well. We're just going to try to mix these around like this, get everything evenly coated with the spices and that uh, olive oil. There we go. And then I have a couple uh, tablespoons of butter. I'm just going to put three big uh, slices here on top. Boom. This is ready for the smoker. I'm going to fire up the smoker. I'll meet you guys outside. All right, so I got uh, my uh, smoke hollow smoker going. I got a mixture of apple, cherry, and hickory wood. And uh, I filled the water pan with hot water on the bottom. We want a little bit of moisture. And I'm, I'm looking to cook this anywhere from 225 to maybe 245. Uh, you know, I mean, you can even go all the way up to 275 if you want, but I want to try to get as much smoke as possible, so I want to do these a little bit longer than normal. So over here I have my regular uh, pork uh, sweet uh, Italian sausage. These three in the front of the chicken, and the two in the back here are my um, hot Italian sausage. So we're just going to stick this in here on the top. And then underneath, I'm going to put uh, the tray of uh, peppers, just in case you know some, one of the sausages starts, uh, one of the casings burst open, uh, it'll have some place to drip down. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's just starting to kind of create a light smoke here. And uh, we'll come back maybe in around uh, 45 minutes to an hour, uh, do a temperature check and see how they're looking. We'll see you guys in a little bit. 
All right, guys, while we're waiting for those Italian sausages to get smoky and cooked, time for a beverage review. I am trying Stone Notorious POG, which I guess is a Berliner Weiss style ale with added passion fruit, orange, and guava. So that's what POG is passion fruit, orange, and guava. Okay, so that's what I'm having. This is my son, Kyle. Say Hello. hi. I'm a human. <clears throat> And he's trying something interesting. Check this out. Brainwash. Carbonated drink. Helps relieve extreme mental overload. Yeah, I think you need this. For a change of mind, this may be your only way out. Gets rid of the garbage they've been dumping in your mind. We want you for life. Let's just hope no one twist that into some political thing. <laughs> political thing? <laughs> Okay, why are these moving back? the stuff they can tell. All right. So that looks interesting. I think this is the same company. What was that other one you tried? Black Lemonade. Remember Black Lemonade? Yeah, and a little fun fact. Well, it's not really that fun, but... Oh, well, look at this. It's blue. It has color. Well, I've never seen a blue soda. I have. What? That goody blue stuff. Oh, yeah, we did have a blue soda. What was that called? It was, uh... Wow. This looks like it would stain. <laughs> Let me pour it all over my... <laughs> wow, look at the, spark, the carbonation. I can't even smell that. <coughs> What's it smell like? Oh, I, I... It's so strong, I can't even tell. I literally coughed just trying to smell it. Yeah, move. Woo! The carbonation one went up my nose. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> wow, we got some interesting uh, drink there for Kyle today. All right, as always, guys, I appreciate you watching my video. Cheers. All right, Kyle, cheers. By Be careful, way, don't spill it. A uh, non-fun fact was the le black lemonade after it had ginger in it or something, and I just felt really sick for some reason. So. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right, cheers, so guys. Here goes nothing. Thing. Wow. Whoa, I taste that uh, guava. Oh, it's strong. It tastes like a wheat beer at the end, but in the beginning, very strong orange and guava. I guess it's passion fruit too. It's got a very strange taste. I'm not used to it. Okay, now it's mellowing out. I think it was just a shock to my system. Oh. All right, Kyle, what do you think? This? Oh, my God. <laughs> you got a big old blue mustache. Hang on. Well, this will be fun watching. Um, <laughs> Wait, This will be fun watching yeah. later. But, um. I knew it was going to stain. I could tell. This is the weirdest soda I've ever had in my entire life. Wow. I took a sip. It tasted at first like that black lemonade stuff, Let but try. like. Four times as strong, yeah, and now and then like my tonsils are burning. It feels like I had something extremely spicy, and it tastes like ginger. This is the weirdest I have no idea soda how to, I've ever had. Yeah, I don't know how to describe that. It's uh, it is strange. Let me see. What are the ingredients? It doesn't even say if it's soda or not. For all I care, this could be alcoholic. Caution may cause special effects. We cut out all the blank in life and went straight for the brain okay let's see water corn syrup citrus acid caffeine uh oh caffeine natural and artificial flavors herbal blend consisting of uh, korean ginseng oh, american best, siberian african oh geez enchania jalapeno oil Jinko Baloka, ginger, you're right, there's ginger. Cola nut, I, Brazilian my, guava. My tonsils are burning, guys. Mad dog weed, clove, sage. Weed? It's it's a it's you a plant. Weed in this? <laughs> so wow, there's all kinds of stuff in there. I, I don't want to drink any more of this now. But it's good. <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> This is okay. It's a little too fruity for me, to be honest Ugh. with you. I mean, I'll, I'll finish it, but uh, 
Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm sure this would probably be very popular during the summer for people who aren't used to drinking beer. It's only 4.7% alcohol, so it's you know it's it's on the mild side with alcohol content, and you can kind of tell it's very fruity. I mean, you can tell it looks like a, re a regular wheat beer. It's very cloudy. It's got a nice head. I might drink this again. For no reason, if I just want to feel like I want to die for some reason. <laughs> you, but you look like the Joker. <laughs> the Joker ain't have blue lips. Well, if the Joker had blue lips, you would look like him. Well, then the Joker would be the Joker. <laughs> As always, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Cheers. We're going to uh, enjoy our beverage, and I'll go out in uh, around 20 minutes. We'll check on those Italian sausage and peppers in the smoker. Here, Kyle. My throat's still burning. <laughs> it's still burning. <laughs> My ears feel like they're steamy. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Cheers. All right. It's been around a half hour. I just thought I'd come out and uh, check out, check it out, see how it's going. I got a nice smoke rolling. Uh, but uh, my temperature is just hovering right at 150 degrees. I only have one burner on high. So I'm going to click the other burner on and put it on low because I definitely need to get this up a little bit. But uh, let's just see how it looks. Got a nice, nice smoke. Let's see here. Onions and peppers, we'll give it a quick little stir here. Yeah, it looks like the butter's melted. Well, they really haven't cooked too much. And then uh, the sausages. Yeah, you could look like they're starting to take on a little bit of color, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on that bottom burner, or the second burner on low, and try to get this thing stabilized maybe at around 220. The 240 somewhere in there so uh, I'll do that and uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit All right, it's been just over an hour this one's just under 250 but this more accurate one I have on the bottom here is pinned right at 225 so let's take a look at this got a light smoke going on let's take a look at these okay these are definitely taking on some color for sure What I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip them over. We're going to flip these over and uh, we'll continue. All right, so we flip those over. Let's check out the peppers and onions. Ooh, looking good. Give them a quick stir here. Looks like I got the temperature up to where it needs to be. These are softening up nicely. I'm going to add a few more wood chips. And uh, we'll give them another uh, 20 minutes, half hour. I'll come out and do a temperature check. But uh, they're looking good. See you guys in a little bit. All right, we're right at around an hour and 40 minutes. Let's check this out. Oh, we still got a decent amount of smoke. I'm going to take a temperature reading on these uh, sausages, but let me first uh, stir this up a little bit. See, this is good. They're nice and soft, but they're not like mushy. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. And it's going to have a little bit of a smoky flavor. Let's take a temperature reading on one of these. You can definitely tell they've taken on some smoke. I'm going to try one of these chicken ones here. I'm just going to go. Let's see. Oh, these are definitely done. Ooh, All right, I'm going to take these off. We'll get them inside. See you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, here you are. Man, and look at, the, look at these sausage and peppers. They're nice and firm. They still got that crunch to them, and they're nice and tender. And man, they got a delicious flavor with these uh, with these spices. All right, I'm going to take one of these uh, sweet Italian pork sausages and slice it up because we're going to serve it with pasta, a little bit of uh, melted butter, and freshly grated Parmesan cheese. But uh, I just want to kind of see how this looks like. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it again after I slice it in small slices like this. We'll mix it with the pasta. Let's see here. Oh boy, you can see a see a little bit of a smoke ring there. Oh, it looks good. 
Let's see here. I don't know if you guys can see there. Whoops. But yeah, there's definitely a smoke ring. All right, let me try one, try a slice. Wow. Wow, you can definitely taste the smoke. It is good. Oh wow, this is gonna be good. I'm also gonna make a sandwich, like I said, with, the, with those uh, peppers and onions. All right, here we are. I have a couple of uh, Italian sausage sandwiches with the melted mozzarella on the bottom and top. It's looking good. Look at how wonderful, like I said, these peppers are. I put them in the oven, 350 for a few minutes, just to get them nice and hot. Kind of just soften them up just a little bit more. And now, of course, I'm going to uh, put some of the sandwiches. I'm going to get my wife out here. We're going to slice into this and uh, try this. And then the other thing I got going here is we got some pasta that we've uh, cut up some of that smoked uh, Italian sausage. And of course, I'm going to add some of the sausage and peppers in here. Mix it all up real good. We're going to put some uh, Parmesan cheese on that and we'll try that on camera as well. Alright guys, we'll be back in one second. Alright, here you are, the finished product. Here's the pasta. I cut up one of those uh, Italian sausages, the sweet ones. We mixed it in there with some Parmesan cheese. And some of those peppers, of course, with the onion. And here are the Italian sausage uh, sandwiches with melted mozzarella. I mean, look at these, man. These look wonderful. Man. And then this pasta. So, uh, look at the family out here. We're also, I'm also going to slice up one of those uh, chicken, uh, chicken Italian sausages and try that as well. Hopefully that's going to be as good. But I have my doubts, but we'll find out. Be back in a second. All right, here we are. My wife, Monica, my son, Kyle. Hi. I got the sandwiches, the pasta. Got a chicken cut up. It looks a good. A pork one. Why don't we just try the sausage by itself first? Which okay. one? Kyle, try the pork. Pork? Try the pork. This. Here, Kyle. This one. this one. This one. This one. No. Mmm. I see the smoke ring. Yeah. I can definitely taste. Kyle, could you please stop? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Wow, it's that's buttery. Good. I do. So here's the chicken mm. and to the butcher who gave this to me for free. Thank you. I don't try, know about chicken. Try chicken. This should be interesting. You know, it's not bad. Mmm. This one's better. That's actually good. I, I, it is actually good. I could definitely taste the smoke. Wow. It's, hey, that was unexpected. Well, let me try that again. Wow, I like the spices. Mmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I actually like that. You like this one better, the pork? The chicken? You like the chicken better. <laughs> the chicken right. is really good. I'm surprised. Well, I like the pork better, but... They're both really good. Right. The pork, like, melts. It's more buttery, but the chicken is very... All right, Kyle, give Kyle like, a bite Kyle's of the pasta here. With the... Tell us what you think. I'm going to try a piece. Mm. So that's... uh. That's a sweet Italian with pasta and the peppers. These are good onions. noodles. No, I'm kidding. Um, you know that. what? The peppers and onions do have taken on a smoky taste. Mm. I can definitely taste it. Mm. Huh. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Kyle? Can you taste the smoke in the onions and peppers? Mm -hmm. That is a, delicious. We got just onions and peppers over here, and they're so good, I can just eat them by themselves like this. So let me say, I really think that putting the the sausage and the vegetables in with pasta is a really big family hit especially for kids that might be a little bit more finicky so this is delicious and i think that's a that would be a real big oh, Kyle loves pasta. hit among kids All right, a lot Kyle. of kids do let's i'm gonna take one of these oops i like doing this for some reason all right let's cut one of these in half those are big there we go guys i don't know if you can see here grab one Want to try a bite? Well, like, I'll try a bite. All right, here comes nothing. Mmm. I crisped up the bread in the oven mm -hmm. while they melted the cheese. Mmm. 
Not as good. Mmm. That's delicious. Dixie, stop it. <laughs> Dixie, no. Red doggo. You want to try a bite? Okay. Okay. It's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good bread. Yeah, that bread is good, huh? Mm-hmm. Something else inside? Oh, yeah, that too. Very good. <laughs> mm, that's delicious. Winner. Mm. Very good. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching my video. If you liked it, hit the like button. Please consider subscribing, and I'll leave a link above to my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com. Until next time, man, thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Bye. Which one, Goodbye. You, which one do you like the best, Kyle? I like the cheese in the sandwich. Ah! <laughs> pasta's good. Take another bite of that. Okay. Just real cheesy. Here, take I'm the bite. camera. It's fine. I'll edit it. Mm-hmm. That sandwich is really good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, told you we should make two. <laughs> it's mm. good both ways. <laughs> Here, Kyle, have the rest of this. Hold it, eat it over this. <laughs> what is this, good? <laughs> <laughs>